Hey, you see, uh, I asked Coach Brown about the, uh, the the sack totals basically doubling the team number in sacks. I understand, you know, first couple weeks playing a couple teams with, you know, that use the trademark high up-tempo offense. Just what was different in the pass rush against Florida State that uh, helped you all out so much to get six sacks? Uh, we just had to lock in, you know, do do we had to do like in the off season, you know, just use our technique and what we've been using in the past and just bring it to the present. Hey, you see here is Cameron with the Curry Journal. Uh, both Coach Satterfield and Coach Brown, uh, even just now, talked a lot about the work you put in this offseason, um, conditioning wise, especially so that you can consistently be a force on the field. How kind of walk me through that, how much work you put in with Coach Siriano and how much you feel like it's helping you right now? Uh, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, stadiums we did in the off season and like gashers, uh, suicides. But after that, I just you know on my own time, going to treadmill, you know, do my own half gashers, you know, suicides, you know, just 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 so I can have that um, that extra that extra push in the game. You feel like that's that's paying off for you right now, so that yes. you can get a full full game. Yes. Hey, yes, here, Michael McCann, Cardinal Authority. Um, just talk about how you think the defense has progressed uh, throughout the season, through the first third of the season, really, um, and to, you know, up to the Florida State game where you had such a you know great success defensively. Uh, I mean, we just we just locked in. You know, we played we played as a whole. Uh, you know, we did our assignment, fit our gaps. You know, we had a couple busts, but you know, we we didn't panic. So that's that that's that's a good thing. If we don't panic, uh, we'll just we just keep rolling, uh, keep making plays. Can you feel the progress that the, that you guys have made as a group, as a defensive from as a whole, from Ole Miss through Florida State? Oh uh, yes, I, I I felt like Ole Miss was like a, a, a life lesson, you know, just you know, because we play a high tempo teams and uh, you know we, we Florida State run start running tempo, so you know we was ready we was ready for that at the end of the day, so. Yes, yeah, here. Hey, it's Jody Dimling with Cardinal Authority. Can you, um, what, what what was it like for you out there the other day, having kind of your best game of the year? And, um, you know, Coach keeps talking about getting better every week. And I feel like, do you feel like you individually have played better each week? I mean, it it starts off with practice. You know, uh, it starts off, you know, on, on Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, uh, just preparation. Like if 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 I do well in practice, I'm, I know I'm going to do well in the game. So just like uh, pre preparation. Also, uh, it's a little follow up. You you've been around for a while. Um, I think Jack was still a walk on when uh, you know this time two years ago. Can you just speak to his game the other day and what you've seen when they moved him positions? What he is he can accomplish now for this defense? I mean, when when he moved, you know, it, it was just like it, he was comfortable. You know, he played like he he been at card. So, you know, just playing with Jack is like really fun. You know, he knows the game. Like I said in the past, like he's a field general. Like he knows what I'm doing. He knows what everybody else is doing. So, yeah, love playing with Jack. You see, the the defensive line got a lot of pressure on Friday, or uh, against Florida State. Sorry. Um, the mix, I mean, even you guys obviously have a three-man front, but even when you do go four and you, you have Ashton and Yaya, and what kind of progress have you seen from that defensive line that they're able to get so much uh, so much more pressure now? Uh, they've just been working on the little things, you know, just getting the gaps, uh, you know, extra work at the end of practice, you know. It's just like the little things during the week, you know, that, that, that shows up on game day, so. And a quick follow to that, Ashton is a guy who really kind of jumped on the scene. I think everybody expected him to be good when they saw him in camp, but I don't think anyone expected this. What's it been like to see him um, really stand out on the field as a true freshman? I mean, he, he he's going to be a beast. He reminds me of um, Nick Bosa a lot. You know, uh, he, he, he just got that edge to him, and, and I love it. Hey, yes, here, uh, Michael, again. Can you speak a, a little bit about uh, Wake Forest? You know, Ryan Brown, your, your defensive coordinator, was just talking about how it takes a lot of discipline against an offense like this. Um, how is it a little more challenging to prepare for an offense like this? Uh, at the end of the day, we just have to, like, do our do our job, you know, keep our eyes, be disciplined, you know. It's, it's going to be an eye, eye, game to, uh, eye game on Saturday, so 
We just need to fit our gaps, uh, set the edges, and just do our job. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.